When you think of agriculture, you probably just think of farmlands. But there is more to it than that. Agriculture plays a very important role in the economy of some countries, especially India. India is primarily an agricultural country, with two-thirds of its population engaged in agricultural activities. Agriculture produces most of the food that we consume and also the raw materials required for various industries. Can you name some industries based on agricultural raw materials? Let's see if I can help. There's textile that comes from growing cotton and farming silkworms. There's a juice industry which gets its main ingredients from fruits. And then there's the hair care industry too which uses all kinds of natural oils or herbs, plants and flowers. Moreover, some agricultural products like tea, coffee, spices, etc. are also exported. Let's find out all this through our chapter, Agriculture. Hi! Agriculture has been there around for a really long time. It is one of the most ancient economic activities in the world. Surprisingly, as the decades have passed, agriculture has progressed and expanded to include a variety of cultivation methods. These depend on factors such as physical environment, technological know-how, economic conditions of farming community and socio-cultural practices prevalent in the area. In this chapter, we'll learn a little something about primitive subsistence farming, shifting agriculture, intensive subsistence farming, commercial farming and plantation agriculture. Let's start with number one, primitive subsistence farming. This is still practiced in a few pockets of India. In this type of farming, production is done for self-consumption. There is little or no use of modern inputs and the yield is very low. It is also dependent on monsoon, natural fertility of the soil and suitability of other environmental conditions. Number two is shifting agriculture. This is a type of slash and burn agriculture. Farmers clear a patch of land by cutting and burning and produce cereals and other food crops to sustain their family. When the soil fertility decreases, the farmers shift and clear a fresh patch of land for cultivation. This type of shifting allows nature to replenish the fertility of the soil but the yield is low as the farmers do not use fertilizers or other modern inputs. It is known by different names in different places. For example, it is known as Jhuming in northeastern states of Assam, Meghalaya, Mizoram and Nagaland, Palmlu in Manipur, Deepa in Bastar district of Chhattisgarh and in Andaman and Nicobar Island. Third in our list is the intensive subsistence farming. It is done in high density areas. Hence, there is a high pressure on the land. The size of the fields is small and so the land requires high doses of biochemical inputs and irrigation to obtain higher production. This is a labor intensive agricultural activity. Yield per hectare is high and production is done mainly for self-consumption. This type of agriculture is mainly practiced in the states of Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal, and Tamil Nadu. So both primitive and intensive subsistence farming methods are for self-consumption. On number four, we have the commercial farming. If we're using the word commercial, it means there's money involved. And so not surprisingly, in this type of farming, crops are grown for the market. Commercial farming is capital intensive and requires sophisticated technology. The main characteristics of this type of farming is the use of high doses of modern inputs like high yielding variety or HYV, seeds, chemical fertilizers, insecticides and pesticides in order to obtain higher productivity. Now interestingly, while some crops considered commercial in certain areas, they might be the staple in others. For example, in Haryana and Punjab, Rice is a commercial crop, but in Orissa, it's a subsistence crop. And remember, subsistence crops are mainly used for self-use. Some more examples of commercial crops are cultivation of cotton in Maharashtra and Gujarat, 
and sugarcane in Uttar Pradesh. Another interesting fact is that the types of farming that exist in different parts of India are gradually moving from subsistence to commercial. Now that's four down. Primitive subsistence farming, shifting agriculture, intensive subsistence farming and commercial farming. Due to it. For more amazing video lectures, download the free app on Apple App Store or Google Play Store.